Another South African enjoying himself at the Maybank Malaysian Open is Avantha master J.B. Kruger. The 25-year-old brought father Hani and mother Ilsa to KL as he began the week streets ahead on the Asian Tour Order of Merit in what is his 50th tournament. JB's dad has run well over 100 full marathons and instilled the sporting ethic from his jockey father into JB. Yeah, he's a bit crazy though. <laughs> I'll forgive him for that. Just having a nice afternoon jog with my dad here. It's a bit of hard work as you can see. I'm sweating. Three o'clock Malaysian time, not fun. His faith in God and his family are the inspirations behind his status as a winner on the Asian and European tours. You know, he's my dad, but we're still friends. That's a key to, you know, to be a friend of your child, and that's exactly what he does. My mom, you know, I can talk to her about anything. They've sacrificed everything for me. Um, they sacrificed our life for me. That's what makes it easy, and that's what makes it the support so good. Hani used a uniquely South African method of strapping a tractor tire to his 12-year-old son to build strength in the young JB. Thankfully today, the training methods used are a lot more fun. They were always encouraging, always talking up to you, never spoke down to me, and that was what I think what made me, or what's making me, the man that I am. Team Kruger came together in Malaysia, where over 20 years of hard work were finally bearing fruit. JB's parents had first put a club in his hands at the tender age of just four. He was well disciplined and he was work, working hard because that was important to me. That's why I support him um, all the time because he's, he's, he's dedicated and, and his, his work ethic is, is, is good. I never had to, to force him to practice. You can have less talent, but if you work hard and, and uh, you commit it, then you will make it. It's good to hear that your dad and your mom especially is proud of you. Um, I think golf is just what you do is not who we are. My dad's comments, you know, it makes me feel that, you know, he's achieved exactly what he wanted to. Well, JB's achievements on the Asian tour very nearly began back in Brunei in 2010. With Hani on the bag for just the second time in Asia, he came agonizingly close to victory. The whole week I was playing really well, and then I, I missed a couple, couple of putts. I had a chance to actually win it. A birdie at the last there would have been enough for Kruger, but he had to play off with Sidikur. Having his father there was some consolation as the Bangladeshi emerged victorious as JB missed this part. Yes! You know, it was tough mentally, but having my dad on the back, he's a good friend. Um, that's what I needed, was somebody that, uh, that's a friend more than a caddy. He's more a friend to me than, than a father, and that's what makes, I think, our relationship so special. Well, it was a very special week for JB in New Delhi in February. A third round, 66, pushed him into a final day lead at the Avantha Masters. By the time this part from off the green dropped in at 11 on Sunday, Kruger said victory was inevitable. A bogey at 17 and a wild tee shot at 18 caused a few jitters. But Kruger's overwhelming sense of calm and confidence that week meant a tricky third to the green was no problem at all. It was a shot under pressure, but it was still a shot that I was so comfortable with. Just I knew exactly how to hit it, how to play it. You know, and I could see it very clearly and I was very calm um, to execute it perfectly. With a two-shot lead on the final green, JB ran the comfortable road to victory, leaving himself the easiest of winning putts. At last, the putt for victory. Well done, JB. A little fella with a lot of game. It's probably relief mostly. I think, uh, you know, it's been coming for a couple of years and getting reward for all the hard work. It's probably the best ever I've ever felt. <laughs> it was quite heavy, but South Africans, nice and strong. <laughs> Having taken the congratulations of caddy Trevor and friend and fellow pro Richard Sturney, Kruger phoned home. My wife 
had to answer the phone because I was crying too much. I can't speak to the people. <laughs> so <laughs> I, she told them that I will phone them back at the later <laughs> stage. <laughs> He's a, an emotional guy, but he's emotional because he knows exactly the hard work I, I put in. I know what it will mean to to my dad and my mom, and will mean to us as a family. Well, the triumph in New Delhi came after Kruger had collected two wins on the South African Sunshine Tour, bringing JB to the attention of two very high-profile compatriots. One of the most hard-working young golfers out there. Yeah, he's got full of energy, and uh, you know they. He's one of those guys that I feel a lot of people can look up to. He, uh, he's, got, he's got a lot of heart. Great young, young man and, uh, you know, good player. He's a guy that, uh, that never gives up and, uh, you know, I, I think that's a fantastic aspect to have. You know, dynamite comes in small packages. It's good that, that guys, you know, like Luan Shaw can also look up to me in, in some ways. It's all about achieving what they've achieved. If guys like that says, says good stuff about you, definitely encourage him. If Kruger does run away with the Asian Tour Order of Merit, he'll be the first South African to claim that honour. Should he succeed, he'll be doing it for faith, friends and family. I think, you know, it's a big inspiration and it will probably be the biggest achievement of my life so far. Asian Tour number one. I would hope it has the same impact as, you know, Louis winning the British Open, Charles winning the Masters. I think there's a, a whole bigger picture other than myself.